All right, so here's an example, calcium packs in face-centered cubic with radius of 197.6 picometers. What is the density in grams per centimeter cube, right? So again, we know density is equal to mass over volume, and we know that we want density in grams per centimeter cube. So let's take a look at this. For the volume part, we know that volume for a cubed is equal to the length cubed, right? The length of one of the sides cubed. And then from this equation right here down here, uh, we can say that one of the edge lengths is equal to the square root of eight times r. So this is equal to r times the square root of eight cubed. And so we can then take this 197.6 picometers and plug this into here. Uh, let's see, doing, doing so, we'll get 558.8 picometers and then cubed, all right? But now we have to be careful. We want this in centimeters cubed and now it's in picometers. So we have to convert this to centimeters first. So 558.8 picometers. Right, we said one picometer is 10 to the negative 10 centimeters. So if you go ahead and do that conversion there, you get 5.588 times 10 to the negative eight centimeters. Take that, plug it back into getting cubed. Right plug that into a calculator, and then you get a final number of 1.745 times 10 to the negative 22 centimeters cubed. And so finally, we can take this and plug this into this volume portion. You have to be careful here. Um, you really gotta be careful. You have to do this conversion before you cube it. Um, if you do it, if you wanna do it after you cube it, then this conversion is going to be different because you're going to be going from picometers cubed to centimeters cubed, uh, which will be a different conversion. Basically, they'll both be cubed, and so it'll be 10 to the negative 30 centimeters is one picometer. Um, so I would just suggest converting before you cube it. But if you're comfortable with the other way, that's totally fine too. And then we think about what the mass is, right? So we know that we have a face centered cubic. So we know we have four atoms per cell. And by taking a look at the periodic table, we know that calcium has a mass of 40.078 grams per mole. Right, but we need to connect these two uh, units, right? Atoms per cell and grams per mole, right? So what we really need to connect is atoms and moles. And so if you think about what that is, that's Avogadro's number. So what it is is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms per one mole, right? So what's gonna happen here is that the mole and mole will cancel out, atoms and atoms will cancel out, um, and then you'll be left with grams per cell. Technically, this, this volume also has units of grams per cell. And so the cell parts ends up canceling out. So you can take this number, which let's see, numerically is what? 2.662 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. Take this, plug it back into there divide it by your volume, and then you'll get a final answer of a density, a density of 1.53 grams per centimeter cubed, right? So it's not too difficult of a problem, it's just very tedious um, and can be very confusing for students, but it's not too bad if you follow the steps and break down the different components.